Hi guys, welcome back to the channel Spare Parts, and today we'll be reviewing set number 70823, Emmett's Tricycle. The set came out in year 2019, comes with 174 pieces, one minifigure, and retailed for $15. This is a LEGO Movie 2 set, so it came out around when the LEGO Movie 2 came out. Not my favorite movie, but this is a pretty cool set, so let's take a closer look at it. Taking a first look at the set, you can see what the vehicle looks like. Some people would call it a three-wheeled monstrosity. I actually think it is a unique idea for a set, even though it really doesn't make sense, but Lego Movie 2, those Lego movies are all about kind of being creative and unique set ideas, so I think this looks pretty cool. Next to that, you can see there's some other side builds, like a fuel station or like a gas pump, and then some tire rim launcher thing next to it. That's what that thing is, kind of a random inclusion in the set. And on the far right, you can see there is a Duplo character. Really cool build for that Duplo character, which we will get into eventually. But first, let's take a look at the play features. Taking a look at the play features of this yellow, I don't even know what to call it. It is a Thricycle, apparently. I don't know if that's supposed to be a tricycle. A unique name for this. It is kind of a cool build, and it can kind of roll. The tires kind of act as gears, though, so they kind of make all of them move, which is a pretty nice feature, although... It doesn't roll the best and you can't really like roll it and have it stay up although there is some pieces in the back that keep it standing up while you're rolling it you can have emmett stand up there as well if you attach him to the handlebars and right here there's a place for him to stand so he won't fall out if you just aggressively shake the set it is kind of a weird design i gotta say the whole like balance of the set it doesn't balance straight it either like leans off into one side and for some reason mine leans off to the left you can see here I don't know, it's just an interesting design. This vehicle can also dock on this station thing here if you slide these pieces into these little hole things. And then it'll actually kind of stay standing up, although it does do that on its own, but it stays up straighter in this. And this is kind of the parking area for it. Pretty nice inclusion. And if you were into displaying this type of set, this would be for you. Taking a look at the side builds included in the set, the first one is this, I think it's a tire rim launcher don't quote me on that i don't know if this was in the movie it's been a while since i've watched it but it is a unique build where you kind of press right here and this tire goes launching off it does work pretty well and like i said it's a very unique weapon to have in a set like this i don't know if it was in the movie but it's a nice inclusion the second side build including the set and in my opinion the most interesting side build although the tire rim launcher was pretty unique this is the Octane gas tank, which is a pretty reoccurring brand in LEGO, the Octane brand. I know I have a tanker truck with that logo. It's like a gas brand, I think. But this pump actually comes with a nozzle you can detach, and I haven't found a spot in the vehicle where you can plug it in. But it is nice that it included some sort of play feature. Something cool you can do with this set to bring it all together is you can actually attach both of these side builds to the main build with these hinge pieces at the side. And then you can kind of have your display area if you were to display this and then you can slide the vehicle in the center and then you kind of have a complete build so that's a nice feature this set included to kind of bring it all together instead of just having these random side builds that just stood off to the side taking a look at minifigures in the set there are two minifigures or really one minifigure and one buildable character this emmett minifigure looks really good i think this could pass as a lego movie one emmett minifigure as well as a lego movie two I don't think there's any distinguishing characteristic here. He has a nice Emmett badge on his leg. Nice silver printing, which actually looks really good. I didn't realize that Emmett has silver printing on him, but it actually looks really good. And on the back, there's more silver printing. And he has a nice hair piece with the little tuft in the back. And I don't think he has a double-sided face, or he might. I think it's him scared. Yeah, pretty accurate to what we see in the movie, and it's a nice inclusion. The buildable character in this set is a Duplo character from the end of the Lego Movie 2, or the beginning, the end of the Lego Movie 1, I should say, because that's when they invade, and that is sort of the plot of the second Lego Movie, is the Duplo kind of take over. And he actually has some play features. I should have gone over this in the play features section, but I was trying to save it for the minifigures. He can snap his mouth, and I guess you could put Emmett in there and have him being eaten alive. Another thing this guy includes is you can swivel this knob in the back and his eye on the front swivels, which is a nice inclusion. I don't really know why this is a thing though, because I guess maybe to show that he's looking somewhere else, but I don't remember this being something that happens in the movie that her eyes just kind of spin in circles. I don't know, comment down below if you remember this, but this seems kind of like a random play feature. Nice they included it though. Taking a look at stickers and prints including this set. There is actually a sticker sheet for this set, which is pretty weird because this is a small set. 
but the eye on this Duplo minifigure is a print, which is really nice. I'm glad they printed that. Circular stickers are not usually the best, and this is a nice print to have, although it is not that unique. And then on the vehicle here, we have some stickers for this decal right here. And then I think there is some stickers down here for this pieces as well. I think they stickered both sides, which is pretty interesting. And that's kind of some nice extra detailing, although you won't usually see the other side. And yeah, so there's some stickers on here. Another one back here. Kind of interesting though. I would have been fine without these stickers, but they do add some nice construction site details to it. And then on this build over here, there are no stickers or anything on the tire frame launcher thing, but on the gas thing, there is a sticker right here to add some extra detailing to the pump. As you can see, it is kind of off-center. That's because I did not apply it correctly when I had this set originally. And then up here, there is a stickered octane piece, which is another circular sticker. I guess the one on the Duplo Eye thing was a print, but they decided to put a sticker on this one. And as you can see, it is kind of cut incorrectly, which is not my fault. That's just the way LEGO did it, but it does look pretty good. So value for money with this set is pretty complicated because I don't really know how to judge it. It retailed for $14.99 for 174 pieces, so that's better than $0.10 cents per piece. But And there also is some bigger pieces in this set, so I feel like it would be worth the price per piece ratio. You do only get one minifigure, which could be kind of disappointing for some people, but I do like the Emmett minifigure. And you get a nice side build, so I don't really know how to judge value on this set, but for me, I'd say it was worth it. You get a okay display piece if you were to display this, and I'd say you get a good minifigure and a pretty good buildable figure as well, even though it is not really a minifigure. I still think the Duplo guy is pretty cool. So I'd say you are getting your value for this if you would have bought it back then, but really it all depends on if you were a fan of the Lego Movie 2. So overall, I feel like this set is an 8 out of 10. I do really like it and I feel like it has good value for money, especially the minifigures. I feel like they're pretty much perfect. It's just, I feel like the vehicle could use some improvement, especially with it rolling. It doesn't roll very well, like I showed before. It kind of just staggers around and kind of trips up on itself. But the balancing feature of the vehicle is super cool. And I do like the design and the side builds, although they don't really add much. I do think it is a pretty good set. And there are a lot of stickers, which is kind of a shame. I feel like some of these could have been done printed although I'm not sure if Lego has like a printing piece or like it, if they're able to actually print this piece right here. This piece seems like a kind of a special piece. But yeah, overall, I feel like it's an eight out of 10 on the quality and everything else level. Basically, it's just an eight out of 10 overall. So there you have it, guys. That was my review of set number 70823, Emmett's Thricycle, exclamation point. Don't really know why there's an explanation point at the end of the set's title, but there is, I guess. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.